and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hymns and spiritual songs, 
Sing and make music in your hearts to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here ends our reading from the New Testament. May God's Holy Spirit bless our hearts and minds with an understanding of these words. Thank you, Mark. Well, good morning. Let me try that again. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. It's good to be back with you again today. Uh, I guess things went well last week. At least I wasn't asked not to come back. <laughs> so that's good. Um, had a good time. And, and one of the things that I really appreciated about the church was the music last week. Uh, you have an exceptional musician. In Allen, and I, I really appreciated that and everybody sat for the post loop, which I thought was fantastic. Uh, musicians put a lot of work into what they do in preparing for worship, and uh, it's nice to have attention paid to that. Are you up back there, Alan? All right. Now, as you see uh, in the music we've been singing and in the title of the sermon, that music is the focus of our attention this morning. So let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for the instructions you give to us in your word. As we said in our prayer, Lord, some things are difficult to understand, some difficult to accept. So I pray that you would give us both understanding this morning and belief in what we mean. I pray that the words which I speak and that the thoughts which we all have would be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and blessed Redeemer. Amen. So what song are you singing this morning? What kind of melody is in your heart? Music is primarily a tool which sets the mood. Lyrics are there to convey meaning to our thought. Mood and style of our lives songs change as well. Sometimes you just might feel like singing the blues. At other times, maybe a mellow ballad or even maybe some jazz or Others might see their life, not in this congregation, but some people, might see their life in terms of classic rock, uh, or soft rock, or maybe even the metallic overpowering sounds of heavy metal or whatever the current trend is. Hopefully, no one is in a dirge mode. So burdened down that only despair seeks to be expressed. Our personal songs are important to, well, to us. We hum the appropriate tune for the moment. We each have music in our heart. Paul as we mentioned last week, has been talking about relationships in the Christian community. In Ephesians chapter 4, and he continues that in our text this morning. He cautions them to be careful how they live. And that will be to us through the centuries as well. Be careful how you live. To live wise. This morning's text has this interesting reference to music. Paul says, and remember we're talking about relationship and communication within the Christian church, within the Christian community. And he says that we are to speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing, he says, and make music in the heart to the Lord. 
think it's important that you notice that Paul makes reference to at least three different types of music. We have different types of music in the church, and some have preference of one over the other. You know that for sure. Uh, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, he uses a similar expression in reference to teaching and admonishing one another. We are in relationship within the church. We are to be there for each other, not just for ourselves. And so what we bring to the experience is very important. And he says that in our teaching of each other, we have something to teach each other. And in our admonishing of each other, or challenging of each other, he says that they are to sing songs, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your heart to God. This is where the source of the music is. Our attitude toward God. The use of music in our corporate experience is important as well. If you ask if any type, particular type of music is relevant, remember, relevance not about styles that honor a particular taste, but it's about blessings that redeems lives.